Uncut. We are backstage of the Proclaim Gospel concert in the heart of Birmingham, and I'm joined here with the amazing. Tell us who you are. My name is Volney Morgan, and I'm glad to be on this platform, man. Yes. It's awesome. Yes. And yeah. listen, Volney, tell us a bit more about you. Tell us how long you've been making music, mm. and how would you describe your music? So. I've been doing music for quite a long time, um, 15 years if we want to put a cap on it mm. regarding um, my journey with Vony Morgan and New Ye. Oh, um, nice. Writing music from before that, um, doing things with um, other groups as a, as a youth, as they would say. Mm. Um, and um, yeah, music has always been a part of me, being a I great impact. Um, it's kind of been my, my journey, really, mm. music. So yeah. Oh, I love that. And tell me, how has it been tonight? You guys haven't performed mm. yet, so yeah. we're yet to see you. <laughs> but how has it been just being here and the anticipation to be performing? It's been good. We're coming out of a pandemic. Mm. Um, this, I, I believe, is one of the first big kind of nights, mm. gospel nights yeah. in Birmingham since yeah. the pandemic. So that's been a good thing. Good to see people. Good to be back in a room again. Yeah. Good to not have to be socially distanced. I know, no two meters. Do you know what Woo! I mean? So that's good. good. It's just, it yeah. feels like it's getting back to normal. So yeah. that's a good thing. So yeah, it feels thing. great, doesn't mm. it? Now, going back a little bit to the pandemic, we don't want mm. to talk about it too much. Yeah. But how was that for you, musically? See, for many people that, when you talk about pandemic, they're like, oh, pandemic. For me, I think the best things came out of the pandemic for me. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Um, like, Early stage of pandemic, when there was lockdown, we were still traveling. New Year was still mm. traveling, so we was going to Denmark doing a couple festivals. Wow. And some people was kind of like, "How are you still traveling when yeah, we're on lockdown?" Yeah. But we didn't have the same rules in other places right, of Europe. Got you. So we still had bookings that we was attending Aww. to. Absolutely amazing. Um, I was still doing choir workshops mm. abroad, so that was good. So while people was kind of locked in their houses, I was kind of going abroad still until it got to the point where it kind of was a wide, worldwide spread where yeah. it was like, "All right, everything's locked down." And then in that, I was um, just at home, um, attending to a church, really. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's that's what was happening Amazing. in the pandemic. And I wanted to talk to you about this. So you became a pastor three years ago. Yeah. How's that been for you? It's been... How's the journey been so far? The journey has been crazy. Yeah. But um, it's been a blessing at the yeah. same time. Um, again, um, uh, three years ago, we started a year mm. before the pandemic. So we had kind yeah. of a year to kind of sort things and get things together. Then the pandemic hit. Yeah. And then everything went to online. So it yeah. was YouTube and everything. Mm. And um, the church is called the Life City Church, for those of you who want to look it up. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, literally, we was um, just trying to... Trying to kind of sift through the yeah. pandemic trying yeah. to still reach people help people because yeah. there was a lot of things going on mm. and mentally as well as physically the fact that we was locked yeah. down so just aiding people through that season so it was uh, more of a season that was how how do we help others yeah. and then yeah. we had to get to a point where we had to kind of think about ourselves as well because sometimes yeah. you can always look out for others and, and forget about your own mental completely. health yeah and and things like that so yeah. so yeah it was it was it was up and down at points and coming out of the pandemic how yeah. was church life after that again it was it felt like the flip side and um, the yeah. membership of the church grew yeah. um we moved into a bigger building mm. um and that was uh because of the fact that certain places wasn't allowing their building to be open anymore right so um with us we had to find uh, a new building it was a bigger building so we was a bit yeah, afraid of that yeah, yeah, yeah. but then people kept on coming like god in just filled it. yeah so exactly right there god just filled it so um so yeah it's been good it's been That's good amazing. i can't complain how's it been managing your music and being a pastor then have you found that you've been able to balance the both or have you had to that's, less than one during yeah, the journey that's a that's a good question um mm. i would always say that um for the first for the last three years god had me focusing more on the church yeah so um i was more um building the church kind of yeah 
closing down on bookings and kind yeah. of doing more stuff with the church. Yeah. And then it was this year that um, we built the church to a point where I can go away sometimes and the mm. church still run and be fine. Okay. And now nice. music can kind of, you know, flow back mm. again. So this is one of um, one of the few events that, mm. that after lockdown, yeah. um, we've been able to come together as a full team. Wow. A lot of places we had to like have yeah. six singers because of social distancing yeah. and stuff. But now um, we got to down. Yeah. Yeah, the whole Love gang, it. 15 the singers. Yeah. Oh, so. good. And so balancing ministry and music, mm. what's your advice to anybody else who's in between these two worlds? Mm. How do you balance it? What's what's your way that you balance it? I think it all stems from a call. Um, it comes yeah. from a calling. It's not something that you just pick up. Yeah. If you just pick up, you will drown yeah. in the, the workload of what you have to do. But yeah. when you're called to something, God makes provision and he makes yeah. a way. It becomes a thing that's a natural thing. It's yeah. not something that you have to push extra. It's something yeah. that's within the tank, within the arsenal. Mm. So you don't have to stress. Yeah. Um, just know that it's there. So um, yeah. I would I would always say just listen to the voice of the Lord. Know yeah. when to do one thing, when to do the other. Mm -hmm. Know when to kind of fully give yourself to yeah. one thing and, and and kind of subdue from the other. Because yeah. those seasons are important. Mm. Because again, not every time you're going to get to just do music or yeah. do do one thing. Sometimes you have to kind of balance the two. Yeah. So, yeah. And New Year, you've brought mm. them with you. Who are you, Yay? Tell us about them. So New Year is a New Year. Sorry, no, no, not, fine. New, not, Year, New Year. Not the <laughs> we, one. We've had it before. We've it's had it before. It's not Kanye. <laughs> it's New Year. New Year. New Year. Um, we we have been we've been good. A lot we of have, <laughs> I'm so sorry. We have been good. No, honestly, we have been. We've been good. Um, being able to come back together, yeah. it's been a blessing. We've enjoyed it and we've had a great time. Oh, amazing. Yeah. I love so, that. That's brilliant. Yeah. Now, what can we be expecting Sorry, two to seconds, see? I think my phone's Yeah, I was hearing it. I was like, ah, you I was going to try and talk over <laughs> you're it. You're snoozing. <laughs> Sorry, that's the um, So what can we be expecting to see from you? Have you got some new music coming out on the horizon? So, What can you tell us? So over the lockdown, we've been writing. Um, yeah. In fact, going into the lockdown, we was actually going to do a project which we postponed and um, now it feels like it's not the next project on the list we're about to do an album right. so we're oh, excited big. about that yeah so um, yeah. so we've put that project it's called Poetry and Harmony we've put that on yeah. the back burner and we're about to go for the um, album we released recently um, a project called Crossover okay um, so that was an EP um, an yeah. EP working towards the album yeah so um, we those are some of the songs we're going to be singing tonight as well oh, from the EP so um, we, we've done that we're working on the album um, hopefully we might do a live recording at the end <gasps> of the year mm, maybe nice. first half of next year yep. where we're still seeing with the times we're in yeah um, but um, that's one of the things we're excited to do as New yeah. Year. But one of the things that I'm really excited about is we're doing a university tour next year. Whoa! Yeah. We're Which going... unis are you going to? So at the moment, in fact, I can't tell you. How They're, can I? I'm, I'm not. I'm not allowed. Yeah, don't say I'm not allowed to tell what unis are. Tell me are, off camera. Are, yeah, are yet, don't but, say. Um, yeah. But we've got a few unis. Um, <laughs> where I've never be heard of a uni tour. A uni tour where this is exciting. It's going to be good. We we done it yeah. a few years ago, and mm -hmm. now um, because of how the pandemic has affected students. Yes. We're, we're thinking Absolutely. of going back in and um, working with them regarding mental health. Yeah. And we know music helps. Yeah. So music, yeah. gospel music helps. Um, a lot of people, they, they've left, remember you're leaving your church, you're mm. leaving your surroundings, going yeah. to a, um, a, a new space, new space yeah. and you're thinking, I just want community. Yeah. So it's us bringing church to them really yeah. and bringing a safe space for them, even if you're not saved, if oh, you're not man. a believer. That, I love that. You know, just in there and um, again that we, we build um, a choir if there's not a choir there if there's a choir there they get to actually open up for us yeah. and then he performs um, in the night um, wow. and then we do like a day of workshops like in the day yeah. we're doing workshops and we're seeing about their mental health and things like that Love so that. yeah that's so crucial as well because mm. they're only at uni for a crucial like three yeah. years maybe four yeah. and it's just like this is a space where they're just learning they're asking big questions yeah. and they're figuring life out yep. 
and it's cr it's a crazy time mm. so i think that sounds amazing yeah. what you're going to be doing going into Definitely. into unis that's exciting mm. oh man come. call me yeah, you can come as well can i join you on yeah, top you just come just come you heard it here i'm going <laughs> going back to uni guys so yeah. roger we're bringing the whole team yeah. right, just, just come just yeah. record for us you just, you <laughs> yeah know. we'll come yeah. we'll join you there mm. but listen thank you so much for your thank time you. and all the best with ministry and thank music you. and all of it like we'll be praying for you because it sounds you so much. amazing the way you're bringing both together mm. And I think, oh, it's exciting. Thank it's you so really much. exciting. So, guys, make sure you check Volney out online on Instagram. Check out the music that's going to be dropping this year mm. and catch some information about where they'll be in the unis. Because if you're a student and you're watching, mm. you need to go check out these guys. Yep. So, guys, thanks for tuning and we'll see you soon.
Yes, it's me, it's your boy, David. Um, really hope you like the content of the video. Um, be sure to make sure you like, subscribe, stay tuned, go to affinityextra.com, check out the website, download the app, go on Instagram, make sure you follow, make sure you stay in tune to everything that's happening.